Today I'm stood outside a recently established engineering company here in Shropshire and they've had an issue with stability during the machining process. Tungaloy have helped them overcome this and I'm interested to learn more. So Robin, I'm here in sunny Shrewsbury. What do you do at Swapshire Precision Engineering? We uh, subcontract turning, um, subcontract milling, all CNC. We got uh, our own design facilities, mostly, mostly the uh, automotive sector, but we do small batch work. Mm -hmm. We can do large batch work, mm -hmm. even down to one-offs. Mm -hmm. I look around Robin, you've got a lot of complex components here. Yep, um, we can, with, with the software that we've got, we, I mean, we've got um, feature cam and we, we've got the uh, latest um, Siemens control, so pretty much we can do anything. Mm -hmm. And you've only been going three years, but all these machines look fairly new to me. Yeah, we've, over the past three years, we've um, invested heavily in, in, um, in the machinery and also the measuring equipment. And we've come here today to talk about Tungaloy, their high feed milling cutter. How are you finding this? It's an absolutely great tool. We've used quite a few high feed tools in the past um, few years. This one has basically outstripped the others. It's got the, the design of the tool is amazing really, how they've managed to fit five, five tips in a 25 mil diameter cutter is amazing. Mm -hmm. So that means you've got better feed rate, but how, how about things like tool life? The tool life is brilliant. We've, we're, we're at the stage where we're putting the, changing the tips in the morning, and then they're lasting all day. Um, come in the next day, change them, turn them before they get too damaged, and they're running all day, no issues at all. Mm -hmm. So some engineers would look at this application and say, why not a face mill? Well, in this, in this particular job, we can't because it's a small diameter. We can't hold it particularly rigidly, so we've got to take fast, light cuts. Um, if we took, if we put a bigger cutter in, the more torque you're going to get on the t cutter, and it could virtually rip the job out. Mm -hmm. So the 25 mil diameter is 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 right for the job. So it looks like it's travelling, Robin. Well, what's the cutting data? It's doing um, 0.6 per tooth. 1.1 um, mil depth of cut, so it's pretty much just shy of um, six meters a minute. So Tungaloy, they do lots of products. Are you going to be looking at some of their others? Well, this this is our this is the first cutter we've trialled um, for them, and uh, pretty much we're going to be looking at tooling for the for the lays as well as the milling. But yeah, definitely start switching to uh, Tungaloy. And I know as a company, you're looking to automation. You've, it's full of technology here, but you're looking to automate your processes. So tool life's going to be key. Well, yeah, the long term is automation, definitely. But we've got to, rely, we've got to have uh, reliable tooling, um, especially if you're going to be running overnight, during the night, when lights out, no, man, no manning. <clears throat> so you want cutters that are going to pretty much last the night. I guess there's no point automating the machine if you haven't got a stable process. No, exactly, and that's what we're trying to build up to. And the future for your business? What's around the corner? Uh, we want to expand into, obviously, more machines. Um, we also want to improve on our um, capabilities in um, the design and um, inspection.